morning. Uh, so my name is Yasser Hagen. I'm a worldwide technical leader with Amazon Connect. Um, and today I'll be talking to you about Amazon Connect. It's one of our uh, products that we've recently launched a couple years ago. Um, and how you can provide an omni-channel experience across voice and chat in your contact centers. Um, before I get started, how many people here are familiar with contact centers? All right. Um, how about how many people here are actually familiar with Amazon Connect? A good bit. OK, cool. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started. I'll give you guys a brief overview of Amazon Connect, and then I'm going to dive right into uh, a demonstration of a use case and kind of walk you through that use case for both voice and chat, which we've recently uh, launched. So Amazon Connect is our cloud-based contact center. It's fully omni-channel. It's fully cloud-enabled. It's easy to use, um, and it can scale with your business up and down depending on your business usage. It includes skills-based routing, so you can get the right contact to the right agent at the right time. Call recording and interaction recording is natively built in within the product. So for all your contacts that your contact center is handling, you can have all those calls being recorded and available in your S3 bucket. Similarly, for chat experiences, all those chat transcripts can also be recorded for you and provided to you in your uh, S3 bucket. We have real-time analytics and reporting, so you can understand what's happening in your contact center, what's going on with your customers, and get access to that data in real time. And Amazon Connect uses a high-quality voice codec so that your agents provide a really good experience uh, to your customers. Now, we've recently announced chat as another channel into Amazon Connect. So when we first launched Amazon Connect, it was a voice-only product, um, though at the core, it, was an omni -channel, um, it had omni-channel capabilities. So we've recently launched chat, so I'll talk to you a little bit about our chat offering. Um, Part of the way that we're thinking about how you can provide chat in your contact center in an omni-channel world is the idea that you can build an experience once and provide that same experience for both voice and chat um, without having to provide diff create different, uh, different integrations or different experiences. So you can build it once and use that same experience across channels. It's asynchronous at its core. So Amazon Connect Chat is asynchronous from a perspective of um, if I disconnect the chat, I can pick up exactly where I left off. Or let's say, for example, an agent needs to go and um, do something on the back end and get back to a customer. We make those experiences really easy for, for your business. It's secure end-to-end. -end. So end-to-end -end from the, all the way from the customer interface to your agent interface. It's encrypted with your business key. And there's no code chatbot capabilities. So if you want to add an AI-enabled chatbot to your experience, there's no additional code you have to do to interact with our chatbot solution. So we use Amazon Lex, which is a natural uh, language uh, conversational interface service. And you can integrate that service directly within Amazon Connect and provide the same experience using the same chatbot for both voice and chat experiences. And I'll demonstrate that as well. And our chat offering is pay per message. So you don't have to worry about different licensing options and how to license which agents for chat versus voice. Uh, you can provide the same chat capability for all of your agents, depending on how you want to use those resources knowing that you're only going to pay for messages that go back and forth between your agents, the system, and your customers. All right, so enough talking about it. Let me um, actually show you how some of these things work. So the first thing that I wanted to do um, is actually show you the voice experience and tell you a little bit about the scenario that we'll be de demonstrating, and then talk to you about how we can provide that same experience um, with using the same contact flows, the same Lex chatbots uh, for chat as well. Before I actually get into the voice experience, um, I wanted to show you what we, what we mean when we talk about contact flows. So for example, this is an Amazon Connect contact flow. It gives you a UI and a really easy interface to create the experience that you want to provide to your customer, regardless of whether that's a voice experience or a chat experience. So creating these experiences are as easy as dragging and dropping the different things you might want to do for that experience on a UI. Now, the contact flows are really powerful. So if I need to go get additional data, or maybe let's say as a customer is interacting with the system, I want to go get their previous interactions. Or maybe I want to talk to my CRM and understand what type of customer they are. Maybe they've opened up a recent case or placed an order recently. I can do all of that from within the contact flow by invoking a Lambda function and talking to any, AI, uh, any API enabled backend, bringing that data back into the contact flow and making those decisions in real time. So I can have one contact flow provide differentiated experiences and personalized experiences for each customer without having to have different contact flows to do that. All right. So let me show you what the, what the voice experience for this sounds like. 
So the scenario that I'm, that I'm using is a ride service company. For this ride service company, um, let's say, imagine a world where um, you need to schedule a ride to go to a doctor's appointment or something like that. For this business, what we found was that 20% of their incoming calls were people just calling to check the status of their ride. Well, this information is in a database somewhere. Why not provide an automated, automated experience where I can solve that customer's problem without waiting and having them actually talk to a human? So that's kind of the experience that I'm going to demonstrate. Um, what I'm also going to want to demonstrate is how I can go from this automated experience, and let's say the automated experience fails. How can I transfer this context to the agent so that as you go to a human, you don't have to repeat yourself? So how many people here have tried an automated experience in an IVR? Okay. What happens if that experience doesn't work and you have to go and talk to a human? You usually have to repeat yourself. You know, ah, oh, can I help you? Well, well, you should know how you can help me because I just tried to do this in the IVR. Those are the problems that we're making it easier for businesses to solve. So let me show you what the experience sounds like. Hi, yes, sir. Welcome to the new Ride Assistance Service, and thanks for being a gold member. How can I help you today? I'd like to check the status of my ride. Understand. Can you repeat or rephrase? I'd like to. Sorry. I'd like to check the status of my ride. Five one one seven. And the trip date? Tomorrow. You'd like me to look up the trip details for trip ID 5117, scheduled for December 5th, 2019. Is that right? Yes. Connecting you with an agent to assist you now. Okay. So here you can see that I called into the contact center, and I'm interacting with a Lex chatbot in real time. It's talking to me in a natural voice. I can talk to it. It understands what I'm saying, and it provides me the information that I need. Now, what if I want to provide that same experience in, for, for chat? And here we go. OK, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to log into um, pretty much as if I'm a customer, and I'm logging into this application. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with a customer name and my ID. So as a customer, I log into my application portal, and I see information about me as a customer. So the system knows that I'm a gold member. It knows where my home location is and where my work location is. Um, now, let's say from this, from this point, I want to actually start chatting with the system in the same way that I called in. So here I can click on chat. And what you're going to see is I'm going to get the same experience that I got on the voice interaction. And this is using the exact same contact flow and the same chat bot that served the voice experience. So it greets me by, by my name. So we want to provide dynamic, personalized experiences. So since the system knows who I am and what my information is, why not give me a more personalized um, experience? It knows my name. It knows I'm a gold member. So at this point, I can ask for the status of my ride. Now, right now, I'm interacting with, with Lex, the Lex chatbot. I'm not talking to a human yet. So I give it my trip ID and my trip date. Now, Amazon Lex, because it's an AI-enabled system, it can understand things like tomorrow, and it automatically resolved that to the right date. I could have said next Tuesday, Christmas Day, the day after tomorrow, and it would understand all these things. And Lex makes it really easy to provide these experiences where you don't have to actually know and understand things like machine learning and, and data science and all that stuff. It builds all this stuff automatically for you. So I can give the confirmation here. And it's going to go talk to a database, get me my trip details, and provide me that information. Now, at this point, you could say that my experience has been fulfilled. But for demonstration, demonstration purposes, I want to escalate this to an agent. So maybe I have another question that the bot can't handle.
So here I've asked to speak to someone because I have a, bill, a question about my bill. Now, because Amazon connected an omni-channel system, I can actually offer a call escalation or a chat escalation. So at this point, I'm actually going to ask to get a call back. So the scenario here is maybe I started this experience on my computer, but I realized that I have to get up and go somewhere. Maybe I need to go to a meeting or I need to just not be at my computer right now. Um, so maybe I want to choose a voice escalation. The bot will be smart enough to ask me for my phone number. And it's going to go ahead and call me and connect me to an agent. But what I want to show is that when I get this call, oh, my phone was under, not disturbed. I can automatically transition all the details from the chat experience to the agent. So as the agent's actually getting the call, you don't have to repeat yourself. They have all the context of everything you've talked to that AI chatbot from prior. All right, let me show you another example. Let's say I did the same thing, but now I want to actually escalate this as a chat to, it, to an agent. All right, at this point, I'm going to ask to get escalated to a chat. Now, what I'm going to show you is a side-by-side -side comparison of the customer experience and the agent experience. So on this, side, on this side, I have the agent view, and on this side, I have the customer view. So just to make it easy so you could see the side-by-side. -side. So what you can see is that on the agent side, they received all the previous conversational history automatically from the experience of what the customer was doing with the chatbot. And there's no code to do this. This is natively built into the product. So as you escalate from a chatbot to an agent, we automatically pass that, that chat history. So now as an agent, I'm more, I understand what the customer need is. All right, what I wanna show now is what you can actually do when you can layer on some of the additional AWS services that we have for machine learning and AI capability, such as translation, sentiment detection, and key phrase detection. So I'll transition this same contact to an, an integration that we've created here, where I'm still embedding the chat interface from the agent perspective, but I'm gonna add on some additional capability with some other AI technologies that we have at AWS. One of the things we can do is we can actually translate text in real time using Amazon Translate. So if this customer started talking in Spanish for whatever reason, what you can see is that on this interface, we've actually converted that Spanish text to English text automatically. So now the agent can understand that customer. So you can have an English speaking agent chatting with a Spanish speaking customer. We've also broken down that text and understood the key phrases. So now the system understands that this customer is asking about their bill. We've automated the experience for the agent. So now the agent can say, can understand that they want to check for their bill. And we can make the agent's life easier by, by providing automated actions for them, such as a shortcut to, set, to automatically answer that question. So when I click on this, you'll see that, that a pre-canned response has been provided to the agent. The agent can send that response and the system will automatically convert that back to Spanish so that from a customer perspective, they receive the Spanish text back. So not only can you have an omni-channel experience, you can even enable agents to speak to customers in different languages. The other thing I want to show here um, is what we consider asynchronous conversations. So from this perspective, what if the agent disconnected the call thinking that they served me because they gave me the link to my bill? So I'll click on end chat. On the customer side, you'll see that they get a message that says the agent has ended the chat. Now, as a customer, what if I just realized, wait a minute, I had another question. How often has that happened? 
But unfortunately, when I try to type back again, now I usually have to go through the entire experience again, re-explain myself on all of that. But not with Amazon Connect. So what you'll see here is the system will automatically keep that contact going and re-put me back in the same queue that I was in before and maintain all the existing context and conversation history from the entire transaction. So now as a customer, not only was I able to get right back to the person I was talking to, but I've also helped that agent to understand that context, and I could have done this hours later. So this is fully configurable as to how long you might want to wait for an asynchronous conversation. All right, and that's pretty much the demonstration that I wanted to show for today. Thank you very much.